What's up there, football fans? Welcome to another episode of The Touchdown. In this episode, we're going to take and recap rounds two and three for the Miami Dolphins. Check it out. All right, football fans, man, this has been a very, very good day. I'm loving round two. I am loving our new additions and a little more firepower for some of you guys out there who aren't too happy we got to a, well, guess what? We're actually going to have an O-line to block for him and for him to properly develop. So um, very excited. The next pick I want to take and talk about is uh, this fellow right here in the back of me. Uh, he takes and he goes by Robert Hunt. He's a guard from Louis- Louisiana Lafayette, Raging Cajuns. Um, I think it's such a cool name, the name of football team, by the way. Uh, but a little bit about this guy, you know, Hunt, he, he registered as a true freshman, his true freshman season. Um, he was named the Raging Cajun starting left guard after spring practice. Now he started all 13 games uh, as a redshirt freshman. Uh, and then as a redshirt sophomore, uh, he did take and start 11 games, nine at left guard and two at left tackle. Now, guys, that's something that is super duper important. Um, he has flexibility. So if somebody goes down on our O-line, well, guess what? We have him there. And guys, if you watch this guy on tape, he is a mauler, a complete mauler. And he ain't little. He is not little. Uh, this guy is standing at a whopping six foot five, 322 pounds. And what's nice is that he can play tackle. And I have a feeling we may possibly move him there. Uh, but also we can move him guard. Now, guys, we're filling in a lot of positions at O-line. Uh, I'm, I'm giving this uh, this specific draft uh, pick. I'm going to take and probably give this one a B plus. I really like this pick for the Miami Dolphins. And for him to take and slide to us, fall right in our hands, I really think it's perfect. One thing I do want to take and mention, though, about him is that um, I mean, this is somebody who is, he's very excited. He seems to love football, um, really, really good at, you know, uh, protecting the run and also protecting the pass as well, too. And, and you guys, mind you, we've been filling in positions not only on defense, but on the O-line as well, too, guys. We have Ted Karras from the New England Patriots. We have Eric Flowers, who came over from the Redskins. We have Austin Jackson. And, of course, we have a few other people who've been on the team as well, too. And, um, and, and, and again, this is just this year's draft. Tua's not starting this year. He's more likely to start either the end of the year, potentially, probably get some reps in the last few games. And then, of course, next year as well, too. Um, he'll have that draft. So um, not too much depth, you know. And I'm not going to lie, when we drafted a cornerback, our last pick of the first round, I was a little upset, but I feel a little better. I did some research on uh, on Noah uh, Igbonehi, I think his name is. So, But, yeah, very excited about this pick. You guys, so for the next pick in the draft, we have coming out of Alabama, our second Alabama player, and also our se- second Raekwon on the team. Um, with the second pick, 56, excuse me, second round, 56 pick overall, Raekwon Davis, Alabama, defensive tackle. So, guys, this is a really nice pickup for us, guys. Raekwon, um, he doesn't have a history of injuries. Uh, did punch a guy once in 2018. <laughs> um, he, he ended up getting in trouble for that. But, you know, he's a guy really stays out of trouble. Very passionate about the sport of play, uh, sport of football. Again, another big character guy that uh, Coach Flores is really looking forward. So that way on the team, we can have a certain mindset on the team. But this is nice, guys, because we already taken, we have, uh, now we have depth on our D-line. We have depth in our linebacker core and also in our secondary as well, too. So really, really, really great pick. Um, this guy is a behemoth of a man. He's uh, six foot five, six foot six, I believe, over 300 pounds. Um, I mean, keep picture him there with, you know, Christian Wilkins and, um, you know, the, the recent two DNs that we recently got. Oh, my gosh. Kyle Van Noy and uh, just all those guys. So very, very excited. Um, one thing I, I didn't notice and also reading on different, um, you know, different websites about him is he's very good at stopping the run. Very quick on his feet, you know, could turn corners very fast. However, when it comes to stopping uh, the pass, definitely an area of opportunity. And he tends to uh, stand up because he is such a tall guy. So getting that low leverage is very difficult for him. So, um, But you know what, guys? W- with a head coach like Brian Flores, he's a defensive mind. I don't see any reason why this guy can't be a pro bowler in a couple of years. So very excited for this pick. Okay. Now in round three, 70th pick of the draft, we have Brandon Jones, safety. All right, guys. Now, as you guys probably take a note, we did take and lose uh, Rishad Jones. Okay. Now, um, Rishad Jones, man, missed the guy a lot. Unfortunately, he had a lot of injuries, so um, he was getting up there in age. So it was time to take and move on. But guys, I'm very excited about this pick. One thing I'm noticing about 
um, you know, Coach Brian Flores is that he loves his secondary and he loves them to take and be able to play slot, different types of coverages. So, um, you know, that, that's a that's a big part because after the D line, what do you have? You have your linebackers and then also as well you take, you have your secondary. So um, but this guy, I looked up a couple things about him now. Um, a couple couple comments here on a website here based off the Miami Herald says uh, he has versatility, versatility and intelligence are basically the two selling points for Jones. Uh, now, he was a three-year starter uh, for the Texas Longhorns. Now, he did play all over the secondary. So he played cornerback. He played safety. Um, and he could even played deep safety as well and even in the box. Okay. Um, one thing I, it does take and say here is that he played slot corner for, for them. So um, that's something that's going to really be huge. So he'd come up and, and make those big plays. Now, those big plays have actually paid off for him. You know, uh, if you guys have been, in case you guys have been living underneath a rock, you know, the Texas Longhorns are coming out of, and I still they're not say they're not completely out of this area yet, but they're coming out of years of just being a really bad football team. And if you know anything about Texans, they are passionate about football. So, um, but this guy played a pivotal part of that success, and because of that, in the years he was a starter uh, with his five foot eleven frame, one hundred ninety eight pounds, he got two hundred and thirty two tackles. Uh, Fourteen of those tackles were for a loss, which is very very good. Again. This guy, he's he, he's a thumper. He's not afraid to take and go down downhill on you. You know, uh, he did have one sack, three interceptions, and seven passes defended, and three fumble recoveries, and two of those were forced fumbles. So this guy is willing to lay down the smackdown. So now this is the second uh, person that we've got in the secondary. We did take and get Noah. Um, I forgot his last name here, <laughs> um, but we. Uh, and Nagawe, I think his name was. <laughs> um, we did take and get him. And then we also have this guy as well, too, along with Xavier uh, Howard, along with uh, Byron Jones as well, too. So um, as, as I mentioned with, with our last couple of draft picks, guys, we're, we're layering. We're getting depth. I mean, these are things that we've needed for years. If you guys don't remember, the, year that, the last year we ended up going to the playoffs was Coach Gase's first year in office, right? And we spanked the Steelers. Antonio Brown, I mean, he was in his prime. Uh, w with who we had guarding him, held him under 40 yards. I mean, again, we had players, but we didn't have no depth. Here come playoffs. Injuries happen. It's the most violent game in America, in, probably in the planet, you know. And it's a gladiator sport. And a lot of those guys we had to stop the Steelers, they weren't around. They were on the bench, you know. So ha have, having depth at these positions is so prime. I mean, when you have teams like the New England Patriots making a run every year, uh, teams like the Baltimore Ravens are starting to really become major contenders. Uh, the 49ers, they're just layering to what they already have. So, um, again, guys, great things to come. Um, but as far as, um, as far as rounds two and three, I I'm very happy. Uh, overall, I take and I give it a... Um, I, I take and I give it a B. I give it a solid B. Not going to lie, I did want to take and get Antoine Winfield, um, McKinney, Grant Delpit, one of those guys for safety. Um, but this guy's pretty good. And, you know, again, Brian Flores, when he picks somebody, there's reasons behind it. So um, we have a lot of picks tomorrow, guys. Oh, my gosh. I mean, we have um, several fourth-round picks. Fifth, or excuse me, I think we have – here, let me take a quick gander here. So, yeah, for, for tomorrow – Oh my gosh, guys, look at all these picks. Yep. Yeah, so we haven't even went through half of our picks tomorrow, y'all. <laughs> so uh, very, very, very excited for tomorrow. Yeah, we have several seventh round, sixth round, fifth round, um, and fourth round as well, too. So very, very excited for tomorrow, guys. Um, again, Dolphins fans, I'll leave you with this. Our best days are ahead of us. Um, and other than that, I want to thank you guys for watching. Also, as well, thank you for all of those that subscribe. Got a lot of subscribers this week. So uh, if you've been riding with me for a while, I appreciate it. And if you're new to our channel, uh, I do want to thank you as well, too. Any feedback you have, any questions, anything, videos you want me to take and put out, give me a holler in the comment section as you reply to most people. So thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you for watching the touchdown. The touchdown.